Greetings everyone. Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. This is Aisha, your Tuesday vlogger. I am jumping out of my skin this week. I uh, got the question for Proof and was like, hot dog. I really was going to take um, this idea to Grill and Be Gone, which is my YouTube channel. And uh, if you're new to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, that is uh, the name of my YouTube channel. I am 20... Uh, 30 and a half months uh, post-op R&Y had uh, weight loss surgery November 16, 2010 shed 190 pounds and have been living in maintenance for the last 18 months and so uh, my perspective in this uh, conversation that we will have today or one-sided conversation we will have today is really um, some of the things that I learned to do when I was in the losing phase and have really um, come to use these ideas as quote unquote tools to help me uh, remain being proof that weight loss surgery works. So I brought along some show and tell and I'll sort of tell my reasons why um, as I go along and I will try to move as quickly as possible. So. Uh, the question is, what standards or daily actions are you developing or have developed now that you will need now that you will need for long-term weight loss maintenance? And so everything that I brought along has reasoning, um, and it really helps me manage some emotional eating as well as um, is sort of a trade-off to the past. Uh, that I can live with in the present that helps me stay within my goals. Um, a couple things that I'll throw out there from the beginning is many of us and all of us usually have an opportunity to go out to eat uh, at a restaurant and you know 99% of the time nowadays every restaurant is online and you can read the menu ahead of time and so that's one of the things that I like to do specifically if I'm going to a new restaurant or um, I'm going to a restaurant that typically could be challenging meaning they have enormous food or maybe I haven't been there in a long time I don't know what I want I tend to eat by taste and I have to be careful because restaurants stir up a lot of memory emotion um, the whole big food thing and dessert and all that kind of stuff. So one of the things that help um, me along the journey and help me maintain my weight loss is oftentimes going ahead uh, and looking at the website before I ever get to the restaurant, picking what I want to eat and then sticking to that once I get there in the restaurant. Another thing that I wrote down was to be able to throw things away. I did a whole video on Grell and Be Gone about an incident that happened in a grocery store where I wanted what I wanted in that moment, paid for it, and then I asked the checkout girl to throw it away, the rest of it, because I didn't want to leave the store with it, didn't, uh, you know, want to have it in my car, and oh, I'll throw it away later. I don't need any more of it. I'm done with it throw it away. I mean, I've done all kinds of things. I um, have purchased something and walked out the store and poured half of it out in the garbage right outside the store before I ever, you know, took it home. Um, it's just a number of things that, that and that helps me uh, keep my girlish figure, <laughs> is the, the ability to be able to say enough and throw it away, give it away. Um, I've left things out for the homeless. Uh, maybe I only wanted a piece of something or part of something, and I left the rest out for the homeless, etc. So you kind of get the idea there. Um, going to uh, places, grocery stores that sell, they have a bulk section. So let's say um, rarely, rarely, I'll have a taste for raisins. But I don't want to buy a box of raisins. A, raisins, the sugar is outrageous. And I will react to it if I eat too many. And um, they be can become too snacky, so I'm just filling myself with sugar. So I will go into it. There's a couple stores that I have local that I'll go to the bulk section and they have raisins. And I'm able to get a controlled portion 
uh, and it's so rare that I have a taste for raisins, but that's when I'll get raisins is from a bulk section. So that's another example of something that you could do to control portions. And really, in this journey, it is about portion control, and that's what our tools are supposed to help us do as well. So those are some things that I wrote down. Now, for um, an example of a protein bar, this Think Thin bar, um, it's chunky peanut butter, and me and a protein bar, we have a hit or miss relationship, but when I want a candy bar sensation, meaning the feel, being able to tear a wrapper, oftentimes I'll turn to a protein bar because I'm not destroying my goals and I'm getting um, a significant amount of protein at once. Uh, I'm getting, you know, sort of the sensation or the rhythm of tearing open a candy bar. I mean, from my channel, you could hear me talk about my history with Snickers and Twix and all those kinds of things, and I just don't eat that anymore. But this gives me sensation of that. And I like touch and feel and um, just some of that rhythm of maybe something that I used to eat, but I don't want to eat that old thing. Uh, another one of my tools in this um, or behaviors or choices that I make in this journey to uh, stay you know in a maintenance cycle I want to make sure I stay on task with the question what standards or daily actions are you developing or have developed and again another choice for me is the mini baby bell light I love these. They're perfect in terms of I get six grams of protein right out of this and it's only 50 calories. And then I get the sensation of sort of tearing open a little piece of candy. You tear the paper off, you get all the rattle and the rhythm and then these are perfect when I'm hungry or I just need to run out the door and I want to make sure I have some protein with me and grab a baby bell. It's so satisfying. It cuts the appetite totally cuts the appetite. I highly recommend these little um, baby bell lights and again for me fumbling with the paper sort of gives me that feel that I'm unwrapping something. Um, another one of the things that I've developed or had to make myself develop is preparing like vegetables ahead of time so you can see, you can see all the cucumber that I'm going to use over the course of the week is already cut up so I don't have just any excuse to skip adding some vegetable here and there. My cucumber is all cut up and I love these Rubbermaid um, containers that keep produce fresh longer and they really do work. But uh, So that's an example of something that I do as well. Um, another thing that I like to reach for, the Laughing Cow uh, Strawberry Cream Cheese Spread. <laughs> um, this is really the only Laughing Cow I'll buy now, but I have these moments uh, as a recovering emotional eater when I just want something, right? But I want it to be sweet, maybe I want it to be creamy. So I'll just reach in the fridge and I'll grab one of the little triangles and literally I'm just eating it because um, it's perfect in portion, perfect in calorie, I get a couple grams of protein, it's sweet, it's creamy. So again, if you, if you hear my pattern, if you hear my thoughts, I'm always um, thinking what's going to satisfy um, the actual taste or desire that I have. And like I said with these, maybe I just want a little something, but I want creamy and I want sweet, and it's not going to destroy my goals. Uh, so in love with the olive. I've talked about this multiple times, but now I am officially switched over um, to the Kalamata olive, gr the Greek olive. And, you know, I just saw myself this over the course of this last week wanting salt, wanting something salty. And the olive is a perfect escape. I don't have to open a bag of chips, a box of crackers, a loaf of bread, any of that to get that salt, uh, sensation taken care of, I can simply open a jar of olives, get a serving out of here, and I'm totally satisfied. It doesn't leave me wanting anything else. The other thing is the hot pepper rings. Love these on salads, and literally just olives and peppers together sometimes just fantastic. It's a great diversion from times when I want something sweet and I don't need anything sweet. It cuts the appetite and it turns my attention. 
the other um, things that I use to help me, you know, things, really it's the ideas that I've developed that help me reach for healthier choices. And the crispy red peppers and the um, crispy jalapenos, these are in the produce section in my grocery stores. Um, some people have bought these off of Amazon as well. But what this does for me is gives me crunch on a salad or on top of a turkey burger or uh, when I'm having like smoked turkey cheese rolled up, I can uh, roll up some of this inside of that and it gives me that crunch. So again, I don't have to reach for crackers, which are quite addicting. I don't have to reach for potato chips and Fritos and all those kinds of things because I'm getting flavor, I'm getting crunch. Um, I have reached in this just as a snack and had just the, um, especially the crispy red peppers, had a small serving of this just for the crunch of it. And it just keeps me in line with my goals. Uh, another thing that is a good diversion, um, especially for any food soothers out there, having hot tea. Uh, it's warm, it's calming, and for me it gives me that sensation of hand to mouth. Um, being able to calm me and get good flavor, and it's very relaxing. So if you don't have tea, if you're not into tea, I am not into tea hot tea um, unless I'm in that mode of I need to calm down, I don't need to eat something, but some warm tea will uh, help me. And these are two of my favorite, uh, this apple cider and this uh, chai tea. But you, if you're following my pattern here, um, you kind of see that I am uh, replacement therapy basically replacing you know like I said a, a real candy bar for a protein bar which is giving me you know the ton of protein and all of that and so that's how I think and I think ahead I look at the future and I think is this behavior that I'm doing today going to impact me in five years um, in 10 years, am I going to be okay with some of these habits? The, the last um, thing that I'll talk about is simply charting what I ate for the day. I uh, always talked about how I just have this little notebook here and when I need to order myself and whether I need to lose some weight or not or I just need to see what's going on with what I'm eating, um, I track it. I simply capture how much water I had and then how much food I'm having. And every so often, I believe we need to do that, even if we just do it for a day and say, hey, you know, what am I doing? What am I eating? And is this, you know, good? And so um, those are the kinds of things that I do and sort of surround myself with. There's nothing that I buy uh, on any kind of regular basis that would be a staple for me that is um, part of what I've developed to keep myself healthy and all of that. It, it, they all have a reason. There's always a purpose with me. If you s ever see me with anything that is edible, um, you have to understand there's a reason why I have walked into this journey and been fully conscious, fully awake. Because of so much prior failure as a dieter, I wanted to do it differently with this weight loss surgery tool. And so I take these things very seriously and I'm always looking for a way out and a way to um, replace something that, you know, maybe I liked in the past, but what can it be today healthy? So um, I think that's one of the, the big things that has um, been, you know, something that has helped me stay in maintenance, stay under goal all these months later. And um, that's all I have to share at the moment. I mean, this conversation can go on and go on. There's so many things, there's so many ideas. But um, I hope that you're evaluating what you're doing today and is it sustainable for the future? Or what you're doing today, will you look up in six months and say, I'm going to be big as a house if I don't stop this pattern? Or where in my cupboards and where in my refrigerator can I replace some of these things that are causing me to fail? Um, that's certainly a realistic uh, thing that we need to do as weight loss surgery people. So I will leave it right there, you guys. Uh, this is Aisha with Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and you have yourself a great rest of the day.